My name is Erwin Sorai. I'm the founder and senior principal designer of ESRI Luxury. Um, ESRI Luxury is a group of bedding company. We produce bed sheets, duvets, everything about beddings and home textile. ESRI Luxury has um, three businesses. We have the ESRI Luxury itself, which is an online and offline bedding store. And we also have Bedsheet Express. Bedsheet Express is more like a retail outlet. We're trying to start a retail chain where someone can walk in and just buy a bedsheet of the chef and um, pillows and everything that makes up the bedding. So, and we also have a new brand called High Eye Linen. High Eye Linen is just trying to target the hospitality industry. It was quite tough initially. Um, we built this business organically. We grew from less than 100,000 there to you know, building a portfolio of where we are today. But it wasn't just like we had millions of um, amounts to start with. We started from something as little as 100,000 there. With the luxury market in Nigeria, the luxury market is quite um, tough in Nigeria. Um, the average Nigerian man that can afford, or woman that can afford luxury, um, they still don't have confidence in the Nigerian brand. They still believe that it's better and more affordable to buy a foreign or a luxury brand from, you know, from the West and bring it to Nigeria. So we that produce luxury brands in Nigeria, we struggle um, initially, but then it's just for you to identify who your target audiences are, and from there you build your database of how to cross-sell and try and target these customers wherever they are. We have different channels of how we sell and generate revenue. We have the online where we you know, use digital marketing to market our products online. And we also have the outlet stores where you can walk in and buy from. And um, we also target um, hotels. We do beddings for a lot of top and high-end hotels in Nigeria. We have um, the database of all the major hotels in Nigeria. So we supply and make beddings for them. For us, um, dealing with competition has always been offering the best values to customers. What we look at in ESRI Luxury is that we train, we try as much as possible to give customers the value for their money. So from time to time, we make sure that we give the customers the extra. Like, for example, we are the only brand in Nigeria for beddings that go the extra mile to do things like Oxford pillowcases for our customers. And we give our customers our words that our best sheets, our duvets, and our home test styles don't fade. We also tell them that if it fades, they can return it back and we give them a brand new one. So these are things that over time we've used in building our brand. So whatever we've brought out and, uh, under our brands have quite done very well because of who we are, the brand integrity. So this has always helped us. We've not been the cheapest, you know, when it comes to um, pricing. But in terms of value for money, I think we are the best on the market. The fact that um, the home textile is actually a necessity for the hospitality industry. The truth is, even if the custom or whatever government policy increases the charges, the end consumer will definitely suffer because we are dealing with a product that is not just a want, but is a need in the industry. The next couple of years, um, we're looking at um, rolling out about 18 stores in three years and um, we want to bring this story luxury to every major city in West Africa so where customers can easily just walk into a retail store and buy linens of the chefs so without um, you know having to wait for a couple of days at the moment we are in just about two cities in Nigeria Lego and Abuja so, but we want to be in every major city in West Africa. So our target is to do 18, roll out 18 stores using the franchising and distributor models in the next three years.